Okay, everybody, welcome. It's the basketball schedule prediction video. I did this last year. I do this every year, but this year's going to be a bit different. I don't know if these games are going to get played. A lot of games getting canceled. Eastern Washington's game against Oregon, that was supposed to happen. That got postponed. So we'll see if these games actually get played, but if they do get played, these are my predictions. So this year, I think we're going to be a pretty good team this year. We got some transfers. We got Michael Stedman, who was also in the Big Sky preseason, all Big Sky team from San Jose State, the transfer. He's going to be good. Darius Henderson down low, him and Michael Stedman going to make big impact. We also got, we still got Owens, Parker. We got Hollinger, freshman of the year last year. So I think we got some really good players and we're going to be good. So let's get into the first one. Okay, coming up, we got our first game against USC on the road. That's on the 28th, Saturday. So this game, it's going to be the first test to see how good we look because I can't really predict anything because I don't know. We got a ton of new players. So I'm just going to go off what we had last year and how other the other guys that we had transfer in are going to play, how they did last year. So USC, they lost their big man that was drafted like number seven. So he's gone. They got the Mobley brothers. They're going to be pretty good, pretty hard to stop. Um, they got a lot of transfers. They got really, they just got a lot of really good players that are really, USC should play really good this year. So I don't think we're going to do very good against our non-conference teams. We didn't last year, but I don't see that changing this year. So my prediction, I think USC is going to win this game, I'd say between the 12 and 15 range. Okay, so on December 3rd, we got our first conference game against Southern Utah. They are projected to get number 7th in the Big Sky preseason rankings. Um, they played us really good last year. We only won by 2, and then in the final game of the year at home, we lost by 5. So this is a good Southern Utah team. Um, they've got a lot of transfers. They still got Dre Marine and John Knight. They did lose Cameron Alutan, so that's a big loss for them, but they still got players. We barely beat them last year, and as you can see now, um, we're going to December 5th. I'll just, I'll just tell you, December 3rd, I think we're going to win the first game. I think we are going to set the tone early on with a win, so that means we're 1-1. One one. Um, Southern Utah, I just don't think they're going to be that good this year. So the second game, I think we're going to win it, but it's going to be closer than the first one. This is going to be a close game. Southern Utah, they may be seventh, but they're a good team last year, so I think we're going to win that game too, so we're 2-1. and one. All right, so game number four, it's against Georgia all the way over there. Um, I think we got a pretty solid chance in this one, unless we are really bad and I don't know how good we are. But Georgia, they had Anthony Edwards, he left. They're two leading scores from last year, not on anymore. They still got a lot of really good players. But you think about it, Georgia had the number one pick in the draft and still weren't really that competitive. So with, I don't see how they're going to be more competitive with him leaving. So I'm going to say if we have a, if we have a good night shooting and we play well, I think we got a chance in this one. But I think the long distance trip is going to affect us, and uh, I do not have a good feeling about. An SEC team. We normally play Pac-12 teams, but going up against an SEC team, I don't see us winning this one. So I'm gonna have to say we're gonna probably lose this. It's gonna be closer. I'm gonna say we're gonna probably lose by like 12, though. So that's my prediction for the Georgia game. All right, on December 16th, we got the Huskies of Washington. We go there. This game, I don't know about this game. I feel pretty. I feel like we could win this game. We'd have to play really well to win this game. But I mean, Washington. They lost two really good players. They lost Jaden McDaniels and Isaiah Stewart to the draft. They still got Carter. But um, I don't know because I thought Washington was going to be really good last year. They had that game against Baylor at the beginning of the year, played really good. And then I thought they were going to have a good year. They went kind of down. But um, this game, I feel like we could win this game more than the Georgia game. So with that, I'm going to say we're going to upset this game. You heard it here first. We're going to upset this game. 
No, I'm just kidding, guys. We're not winning this game. I think this is going to be close, though. But I think it's going to we're I think we're going to keep it close. But Washington is going to prevail at the very end of the game, and they're going to probably win this by like ten or, or more. So that's my prediction for that game. All right, for the Arizona game, um, they did lose that Mannion guy. Went to the Warriors, but you know. I still don't have a lot of confidence. I think Arizona's going to be a good team this year. They're, I think they're going to be hard to beat. So I think this game, I've said a lot of these, our games are going to be close. I don't think this one's going to be close. I think we're going to lose this game by like 24. So I do not have a lot of confidence in this game, and I think this is another loss for us. Now, on New Year's Eve, we got, we're done with our non-conference games. Now we got the conference games again. Northern Colorado. <sighs> They seem to uh, seem. They just seem to beat us every single year. We lost that game in Missoula last year. Not happy about that game still. Because if we would have won that game, we would have been really likely to get the championship. But you know that didn't happen. So that's that's the first game, and then we got this second game coming up. Um, so the first game, I think we're gonna win the first game. It's really hard to beat Northern Colorado. It's really hard. It is. We do not do very good against this team so I think we're gonna win the first game but then the second game is gonna come and they're gonna make some adjustments and they're gonna beat us the second game on January 2nd so I think we're gonna split this series and it's gonna be one and one against Northern Colorado all right Northern Arizona on January 14th this game I don't know about this game Satter White he used to play for Northern Arizona he transferred to us this year so we get him so Hopefully he can play well against his former team. Um, last time the Grizz played Northern Arizona, Cameron Shelton, he's back. He just dominated us the entire game. So I think he is going to be a good force in this. Bernie Andre, he's gone. So, yeah, he's gone. So that's going to be a bit better. But the two series, two games we played last year, we lost 57-56 and 179-72. So continuing with this trend, I think it's going to be, we're not, I don't think we're going to get lose two games, and I don't think we're going to win two games in a lot. So the first game, I think we're going to win the first game. It's just like Northern Colorado. I think we're going to win the first game. They're going to make adjustments, and they're going to take us down the second game. So I think we're also going to split this series against Northern Arizona. All right, now we got Sacramento State. Last year, we won 52 to 50 and 79-71. So we Last year we beat these this team both times, and they lost a key player in Joshua Patton, and I don't think they got much better. So for this game, for game one, I think we're gonna take them down game one, but differently, I think we're also gonna take them down in game two. So I think we're gonna sweep Sacramento State. Um, I don't think we're gonna sweep a lot of teams. I don't think we're gonna lose in two games either. I just don't see us doing that. Like, I don't see how we would lose two games in a row to the same team. I get it when they're spread out more, but when they're like back to back over three days, I don't see how we're gonna lose two games, not Sacramento State. So I think we're actually gonna win both of these games. So it's good to be back. Two win streak for the Grizz. Well, 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 January 28th comes. It's the brawl of the wild. And unlike football where we lose a lot, Basketball, we don't lose. We are just dominant in basketball. And now that they lost Harold Frey, I mean, he last year, if he was not in that game, we would have won that game by 35. Harold Frey kept him in it. They still got Jabril Bello, who is the preseason all-big sky team as well as Michael Stedman. They got Devin Kirby, but, I mean, let's be honest. The Bobcats are not beating us. They have not, I feel like we've won so many times in a row. We feel like we've lost one over the past like 20 meetings or something. We're not losing to the Bobcats. I just don't see it happening. We're gonna win game one in convincing fashion and we're gonna win game two in convincing fashion. I don't see the Bobcats beating us. They have not beaten us in a while and they may be good at football, but they're just not good at basketball and we are really good at basketball and football this year. So I think we're gonna win that game. All right, we got Portland State, and for some reason, I don't know why this is, but we just flat out can't beat Portland State. I don't know why. We seem to lose to Portland State a lot, and I'm not sure why they do. They did lose Holland, Holland Woods, who literally 
kept them alive last year. That's how they won against us most of the times. He went like he had like 20 for 20 on free throws against us last year. He's gone though. But I'm gonna say I, I think we're gonna lose this first game because I just don't know why don't know why we can't beat Portland State. So I don't we're gonna lose the first game against Portland State, but this we're gonna turn around. Like I said, we're not gonna get swept, I don't think. I think we're gonna win win game two. We're gonna make the adjustments we need. And we're going to take down Portland State in game number two. All right, Weber State's next. And I think Weber State, this is going to be one of Weber State's worst basketball teams they've had over the last couple of years. I just don't see them doing anything. They're not very good. They lost Jarek Harding. They still have Michael Kozak, who seems to play well against us. But um, I don't see us losing to Weber State, especially with this team. I still think we're going to be good. But I don't know how good we're going to be. It'll determine, like, if we really can play good I think we got a chance at winning this championship so um Weaver State they're not gonna have a very good team I think we're gonna win game one and I also think we're gonna win game two I just said we're not gonna sweep a lot of people but Weaver State normally they're really good but this year I don't see that happening they just lost too much talent and it'll take a while for them to get back to the top so, but until then, Montana still is going to dominate them in both these games, and they're going to win both. Well, this game is going to be fun to watch. If you can choose one game to watch, watch these games right here. Eastern Washington and Montana. Not last year, but before that, they were the two teams in the championship back-to-back -back on their preseason number one and two in both categories, Montana and Eastern Washington. Eastern Washington has the preseason Big Sky MVP. They got Jacob Davison, who that who that is, and Kim Aiken Jr. They are gonna be a tough team to beat. Last year we barely won. We I remember that game. We barely won at home. We only won it by like one, and it came down to the final possession. Ooh, I'd be scared if I was Grizz fans about this game. I don't think we're gonna be Eastern Washington. I really don't. In fact, I think we're gonna beat them the first. Actually, I think we're gonna lose the first time. I want to say we're going to win, but, you know, I'll say we're going to win. I say we're going to pull out the second game, so we'll go one and one against them. All right, guys, let's be honest. Idaho State is awful. We should easily win both these games. I don't see us losing this game. Last year, we did only win by four on the row, but that was last year. I think they're not going to be as good this year. I mean, they weren't even really good that last year, but I do think we're going to be a lot better than them. So I think we're going to win the first game. And speaking of this game, I probably won't be watching this game. Because this is the day Big Sky Football was supposed to start. I'll make, a pr I'll make a prediction video about that too. But I'll probably not watch this game because football, hopefully it starts that day. But same result as the first game. They're going to they're gonna win against Idaho State both games. I don't see them losing... They're going to go 2-0 against Idaho State. All right, the final two games of the regular season. Um, hopefully Montana doesn't have that wear off last game. If you remember last year, their final game against Southern Utah, they lost it. Everybody was expecting them to just blow them out, and they ended up losing it. So hopefully they don't have like that. But Idaho, they're, they're a pretty good team. But um, I don't think they're going to be as good as us this year. Idaho's not very good. I'm going to say we're going to win game one, and I also think we're going to win game two. So that's so that leaves us at, I don't even know that what our record is, but I'll look real quick. I'll add it up. But I think this season is going to be better than last year. Actually, it depends. It, filling Saeed Pritchett's role, massive challenge. Kendall Manuel, massive challenge. We got some shooters. We got some centers um we are gonna be i think we're gonna live up to that number two expectation and i think we're if when the big sky tournament comes in boise i think we're gonna be contending as we normally do hopefully we can put these pieces together in a way that works and i know we probably will do that but first games tomorrow because this video will be update upload this video will be uploaded on friday right before the game but yeah Hopefully we can just continue to play this entire year because I think we have a really good chance. So hopefully we play the entire year, but that's going to be it for the prediction video. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want to do. I don't care. And have a phenomenal day.